Uh, thank you, Waffles Lud. I'm doing a Tears of the Kingdom damage damage list speedrun. Do you think it'll perform well for where I'm at? I don't know if the video is good. Here's the thing. You know what? A lot of people, I'm surprised. Still, this happens a lot, and maybe it's maybe it's people blowing smoke up my ass, right? Or maybe it's genuine. But at the New Year's Eve party I was at, it was at um, offline TV, and a lot of people were there were creators, and a lot of people came up to me. And they would be like, dude, and they were drunk, dude, you don't know how much your videos have inspired me. And I'd be like, really? And they're like, I make Roblox highlights <laughs> or, you know, like, yeah, I do, uh, I do Valorant e dating shorts. And I was like, damn, that's sick. But what I told everybody and what I'm focused on personally and what you should be focused on is a little less, and it's still important, by the way, to think of will it work, will it not work, but a little less of will it work, and a little more of am I proud of what I'm making, you know? To me, I think sometimes that gets lost in the mix, and I don't think in my past videos or streams about how to be a streamer, how to be a YouTuber, I've talked enough about that. I've talked too much about maybe the nitty-gritty, because I think a lot of people aren't willing to talk about the nitty-gritty, but maybe along that journey, I forgot to also say, hey, make something that you fucking think is dope. You know, make something you think is cool. So I would ask yourself that. Like, do you think it'll perform well? I don't know. Maybe it won't. But if it doesn't perform well, wouldn't it feel a whole hell of a lot better if you were proud of what you made? And I would just keep that in the back of your mind.